Joining us now, Republican Congressman from Texas, Jody Arrington. He's a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. First, I want to get your reaction to the Capitol being closed to public and, and some of your colleagues shutting down their offices. Well, I think everybody's taking the approach of an abundance of caution. Um, I think the president has set a great tone, and that is, let's be prepared, let's take it seriously, but let's not panic. Um, and I, and I think, uh, you know, making some basic common sense uh, precautions uh, with respect to uh, not having crowds of people around is uh, probably wise at this point. I think we need to continue to keep it in perspective so that we don't panic and so that we don't overreact with respect to the low risk of spreading and the low impact uh, to Americans at this point. And if you look at it relative to other diseases, even other viruses, flu-like viruses, um, you know, we're again at a low risk situation, but it's one that's serious. And it's one that I think the president has done and the administration a, a fantastic job of being very transparent, uh, actively and continually communicating with the American people, and then, and, and then taking the intervention steps to add resources where we can expedite the development of, of vaccines and therapies, uh, among other many uh, things with respect to health care provision, food assistance, uh, disaster loans for uh, mitigating economic effects, a whole host of things that I think this president is doing very well, and we stand ready uh, to, to help him in the most responsible and, uh, and efficient way. Uh, sir, are you going to shut down your office? Well, if I felt like that was the right response, uh, then, then I would. But at this point, uh, there, I think, one confirmed case, a staff person in the Senate. Um, you know, we have very important uh, decisions to make on behalf of the American people with respect to uh, setting policy and, and making sure that the president has the resources to deal with this. And so, uh, you know, at this point in time, uh, again, we're not in an overreacting and panic mode. We're taking the right and necessary precautions with respect to good hygiene and the like. Uh, so, uh, again, we have to balance uh, the, the, the precautions with the, uh, uh, with the sense that we shouldn't panic. Uh, otherwise, we can create a whole worse situation. Systemic risk, you know, for example, when you just throw a bunch of money at a program that suggests if you're feeling bad, you go home, we'll give you your full salary, I, I think you're going to find that that would create hysteria in this country. So, you know, uh, yeah. serious, yes. Um, be aggressive, yes. Um, look at marshalling all resources and tools in public and private sector. Yes, but I think we've got to take we got to keep things in perspective at this point. Yeah, sir, I have a few seconds left. I want to get your reaction because the House is going to take up a vote on an aid package tomorrow. Uh, your thoughts on this? Is this all going to work? Are we going to get what President Trump wanted? What he spoke about yesterday in there? Well, the Senate has said they're not going to take up anything at this point. Uh, but whatever we do, Allison, it should be targeted and temporary. And um, because the administration is already already doing a whole lot to provide forbearance uh, with respect to regulatory burden, flexibilities with respect to food assistance, uh, uh, these disaster relief loans to small businesses. So look, we should look across the board to see what makes the most sense. Let's not provide an incentive that, that creates hysteria and let's use programs that are working to date. And let's let's just not throw a bunch of money at it so that we feel good and uh, walk away with a bunch of waste, fraud, abuse and and the behavior that we're trying to actually manage at this point. So I'll be looking at that very cl closely. And um, I haven't seen all the details of it yet, but it's it, apparently the Senate is not willing to take anything up. I'm not sure that's the right decision either.